Today we are going to cook some ridge gourd curried. So come on in the kitchen and let's prepare this delightful recipe. Now let's get into all of the ingredients that is going to be used. Welcome back. So as we go along, I am going to explain what I am doing. The ingredients would be on the screen and I will also leave it in the description and along with the measurements. So let's get started. Firstly, I am going to peel and clean the ridge gourd and just you don't need to cut the skin off this stick, but this is how I would prepare this vegetable. Remove the seed and cut them to your desired thickness and I'm adding my oil once the oil is added I am going to add some garlic and I'm going to infuse the garlic along with all these other spices and aromatics then I'm going to add my curry powder I am going to cook that curry as you're seeing on your screen as I mentioned it will also be in the description once my curry is cooked properly I'm going to add more or less the tougher vegetable which is the carrots and I'm going to add the onion I'm going to saute that for a little bit once it has come translucent I am then going to add my ridge add it to the pot make sure it is coated properly into that curry mixture and once that is added I am now going to add my I'm going to add my chip chip now you can add salt fish you could add a pigtail you could just cook it with any type of meat in it but this is what i choose so i made a broth with my seasoning that i have on my channel which would be the old base seasoning then i am going to add the tomato sweet pepper pimento ginger garlic i am going to cook that in and I am not going to add any more salt or anything to this. I'm just going to let it dry down as you're seeing there because remember my Old Bay seasoning has so much flavor in it already. That recipe was already shown on this channel. So you could check that out if you didn't see it. So once this has dried down, that would be it. I also add some hot pepper because I wanted a little heat. I like a lot of spice in my food. And I am having this with some roti you can have this with bread you could have this with rice because it has chip chip it has a lot of flavor it was really delicious very healthy so put aside the, the flour this could be a very enjoyable a vegan meal or vegetarian meal thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out